Properly filling out the MV1 Wisconsin Title and License Plate application is important to receive a Wisconsin Title and License Plates in your name. The MV1 is split into eight sections. Click the link in the description box below for other videos in this series. Section B, Vehicle Information. We'll start by filling in the full vehicle identification number or VIN on the first line. The VIN can be found on the front top portion of most titles or manufacturer certificates of origin. If you're transferring a license plate, check the instructions for section B on the first page of the application to ensure your plate qualifies to transfer to your new vehicle. List your license plate number and plate type here. If you're transferring plates from your spouse or domestic partner, check this box. Enter the year and make of the vehicle you purchased. The make is the company that manufactured the vehicle such as Ford or Honda. Next, enter the vehicle type and color. This information is usually printed on titles near where you located the VIN. If you plan on applying for new license plates, use the vehicle type to determine what type of license plate you need for your vehicle. You can also refer to Section F for a complete list of plate types. If the vehicle is part of a fleet, you can add the vehicle's fleet number here. Enter the date you first drove the vehicle as the new owner. If you have not yet driven the vehicle, leave this line blank. If you're a new resident who has moved here with the vehicle, enter the date you first drove the vehicle after moving to Wisconsin. Last, enter the county and city, town, or village where the vehicle is kept. This is where your vehicle is customarily kept and we'll use this information to calculate state, local, and wheel taxes if applicable. Section B should now be complete with the vehicle information. Check out the other videos in this series to complete each section of the MV1 Wisconsin Title and License Plate application.